Hi students, so in this video, I'm going to guide you on how to solve quadratic inequalities using table method. So this will be part 3. Part 1 is graph sketching method. I'll also share the link down below. Part 2 is solving using number line method. And this is part 3. Okay, the question states that we should solve this quadratic inequality by using table method. Now, the first step that we need to do is immediately form all the equation on the left hand side. So, now I'm going to shift all this to the left. So, it's going to become 3x squared plus 8x minus 35 greater than and equals to 0. Okay, now I'm going to factorize this. You can always use your calculator to factorize. So, keying in the value 3, 8, and negative 35. So, we get... 3x minus 7 and the other factor is x plus 5 okay now these are our factors so let me write it down here 3x minus 7 equals to 0 that means x is equals to 7 over 3 the other one x plus 5 equals 0 x is equals to negative 5 now to use table method we need to construct a table so, let's construct the table over here. So, the table is going to be like this. Okay. Create 3. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3 lines. Okay. 3 call, uh, rows. And then, here also, 3. Okay. So, now, slightly longer. Now here, alright, we are going to write three equations, inequality. The first one, okay, I'm going to choose x less than equals to negative 5, okay? If you get a negative factor, you're going to write it here. And you're going to write this as less than and equal to, okay? Next one will be x between negative 5 and between 7 over 3. Okay, the third one, the third column, we are going to write x greater than and equals to 7 over 3. So this one you need to understand first. The negative one we will write in this okay, column. And then we are going to write both of them but the x inequality is going to be in the middle. Then x greater than and equals to 7 over 3. Okay, once we have written this, Okay, here, now, I need one more column, actually. One more row, right? Okay, so, here now, I'm going to choose x plus 5, and the other one, I'm going to choose 3x minus 7. So, I'm going to write both here. Okay, so here, this one, it doesn't matter. You can write this first or this first. But this one, you need to write the negative one first. And your x must be less than or equal to. Here, the x must be in the middle. And the most right one, you have to write x greater than. Okay. Now, here, for the last one, I'm going to write uh, 3x minus 7 and x plus 5. Okay. So, we have three fac uh, two factors. And then the last one combined factors okay now what are we going to do so since we already construct our table so this is where we're going to use our calculator because now choose any number that is less than negative 5 any number so for example i'm going to choose negative uh, 6 okay so put in negative 6 plus 5 what do we get so, negative 6 plus 5, I get a negative 1. So, negative 1 is actually negative number. So, I'm just going to put negative. Okay. That's now we also choose, neg uh, we choose negative 6, right? So, we put inside here. So, 3 times negative 6, 3 times negative 6, minus 7. We get negative 25. So, negative 25 is a negative number. All right. Now, let's go here. Uh, choose a number that is between negative 5 and 7 over 3. 
let's say uh, we choose zero okay we choose zero so because zero would be easy for us to put in the value so zero plus five we get five so five is a positive now let's put zero inside here three times zero 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 minus seven negative seven so here we get a negative number okay last uh, column here so choose any number that's greater than 7 over 3 so see 7 over 3 is 2.33 we choose any number that's more than 2.33 so let's say we choose 3 okay 3 plus 5 here we get 8 8 is a positive number next put in 3 here so 3 times 3 minus 7 we get 2 2 is positive so here we write positive okay so now we already did our calculation the last uh, row here, okay, so negative times, okay, here we're going to times, so negative times negative, we get a positive, positive times negative, we get negative, positive times positive, we get positive, okay, so this is where we are going to choose our inequality, so how do we choose, of course, we have to look back at our this inequality here so as you can see it's greater than and equals to zero that means our inequality must be in the positive range so where is positive here this is positive this is positive so that means our answer can immediately we can choose this and this okay so our final answer the range of values of x is x less than equals to negative 5 or x greater than and equals to 7 over 3 so we have found our rate so i hope you guys understand this keep doing your practice every single day don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also share this with a friend who you think they might benefit from this so until i see you in my next video bye students